In this video I'm going to show you how to take the spectra that you created in Sci Davis, export that into Inkscape, add labels, save it as a high resolution PNG and then convert it into a TIFF format as if you were submitting it as a figure for a paper in a journal. So here is a spectrum in Sci Davis similar to the one you will have created from your beer data. To export the spectrum, go to the File menu and select Export Graph like you can see here. Make sure to save the file as an SVG file. That stands for Support Vector Graphics. Make sure to save the file with a sensible name to a sensible location so you can find it later. So now we've saved the spectrum as an SVG file, we can open that up in a vector graphics program such as Inkscape, and there's instructions how to download Inkscape onto your own computer in the now. Open Inkscape. Now Inkscape's open, you can import the SVG file of the spectrum you just saved. The first job is to rescale the graph so that it's the right size for fitting on an A4 page. We can do that very precisely in Inkscape, allowing us to make the figure exactly the right size for journals. In this case we're going to make the graphic 154 centimeters across. We don't want the shape of the graph to change as we rescale it, so the first thing we have to do is lock the aspect ratio using this button. Now change the units from pixels to centimeters. Now we can set the width to exactly the width we wish. In this case we're going to set it to 15.4 centimeters. Let's zoom in so we can see the graph in more detail. So you can see the spectrum looks exactly the same as before, only we've shrunk it down to the size we wanted. If you were submitting a spectrum like this to a journal, you'd need to label the peaks you were going to discuss in the text. So for this lab, I want you to label the peaks you've managed to assign in the two spectra you can see displayed. Use the text tool to allow you to add labels onto any drawing. Type the label of the first peak you want to label. Note, either use a label number like peak 1, or actually type the ionic formula of the ion you've assigned. Move the label near to the assigned peak. Now we can also add an arrow to make sure the label points to the specific peak that's been assigned. Make as many labels and arrows as you need to label all the assigned peaks in your spectra. Now you've created your fully annotated spectrum, we can save it as a high resolution image file, and we'll need to save that at 600 dots per inch, which is the requirement of most journals. To export the file as an image, go to the File menu and choose Export PNG Image. This brings up a set of parameters you can use to change the saved image file, but we can set the image resolution using this control. So set the image resolution to 600 dots per inch. 
Click this button to select where to save the file and what file name to give it. As always, make sure to give it a useful name that will make it easy to find the file later. Now click this button to actually export the image to a file. The figure has now been saved as a PNG file, but unfortunately you can't upload that type of image to a journal. We need to convert that to a TIFF format file, and to do that we'll use a freeware program called GIMP, that's the new image manipulation program. There will be instructions how to download GIMP in the now as well. The next step then is to open GIMP. Once GIMP eventually opens, open up the PNG image file you just saved from Inkscape. To export the file as a TIFF image, go to the File menu and choose the Export option. To export as a TIFF image, change the file extension from PNG to TIF. I tend to save TIFF images with LZW compression because it makes the files a little smaller. So that is the TIFF image saved and now you can embed it in Word documents or reports as you need, including submission to journals.